Hello, welcome to John B. the RD Research Desk. Today we're going to be talking about the six types of corporations and which one is right for you. Nearly every United States corporation started out as a small business. So it only makes sense that nearly every small business has eventually think about what kind of entity they want to be and how they want to organize their company. This is why understanding different types of corporations is important to help you make the right decision of your company. Let's take a look at the various types of corporations and business structures. But first, let's explore how your business structure impacts your operation from the bottom to the top. How does your type of corporation or ent entity affect your business? As far as the law is concerned, your business is a legal entity. Being such, there are a number of legal implications that come with each type of corporation and business structure. These legal implications range from personal liability protection to tax exempt statutes to higher levels of federal income tax. For example, an LLC ensures your personal assets are safe in the event of a business lawsuit or debt, but an LLC doesn't allow you to take advantage of some of the same kind of tax savings <clears throat> as, say, an S corporation. As a startup, your company likely exists as a sole partnership or general partnership. But as your company grows and your structural and financial needs shift, you'll likely need to change the type of business entity you're, you are classified as. So what types of corporations and entities are out there? The different types of corporations and business structures. When it comes to types of corporations, there are typically four that are brought up. S corps, C corps, nonprofit corporations, and LLCs. But there are additional business structures as well, some of which could be the right fit for your company. Before diving into this list, it's worthy noting the first four items listed are types of corporations. The following two are business entities that are not considered corporations. S corporation. As S corporation is a business entity that passes almost all finances through its shareholders. These finances include income and losses, as well as tax deductions and credit. By passing all of these finances through the shareholders, S corporations are able to be taxed like a partnership, but gain corporate perks. More specifically, this means that shareholders are responsible for income and loss. The S corp pays specific corporate taxes pertaining only to passive income and gains outside what the shareholders keep. This allows S corps to avoid the double taxation that often comes with C corps. For example, let's say you have a C corp with several shareholders who have all invested the same amount. Before those shareholders see their profit, your company first has to pay corporate taxes on the income generated. Then the already taxed money is paid out to the shareholders as profit, who report it on their personal tax returns and pay tax again. With an S Corp, the profits are passed directly to the S Corp shareholders, meaning shareholders are responsible for the taxes. This allows the S Corporation to avoid corporate tax, as the profits are being taxed at a personal level when the shareholders report it on their income tax return. But there's a catch. Any shareholders of an S Corp can't be corp corporations, nor can they be partners with the company. This means shareholders are generally part of a trust or a state, or are individuals and nonprofits. This limits who can be a shareholder, but again, allows you to take advantage of lower corporate taxes in many cases. You're also limited to not more than 100 shareholders which can limit for future growth. S corporations can be general partnerships, LLCs, or corporations, making them rather flexible. While there are certain tax benefits, it's worth not noting 
the IRS tends to pay extra attention to S corporations. This is because the structure provides loopholes through which shareholders may try to evade tax. For example, an S corp could claim employee pay is actually a distribution and avoid tax. C corporation. A C corporation is similar to an S corporation in that it can be a partnership corporation or LLC. A C corp is also privately to certain tax chief of which is that the profits of the company are taxed independently of the profits of the owner. Unlike S corps, a C corp can have any number of shareholders from any background. This means C corp shareholders can also be employees of the corporation itself, but a C corp must have a broad a board of directors. The board of directors acts as the decision makers for the company, while the shareholders are more like the financial backing. C corporations can be hit with double taxation, however, which happens when the profits of the company are taxed at the corporate level, and then again on individuals' income tax returns. This often avoided by spreading profits out to employees as benefits, which allows the corporation to be taxed at a lower rate on a personal tax return. But this complicated corporate structure often necessitates an account or financial advisor, which is an added cost. If your plan is to grow your business and eventually sell it, a C corporation can be a great way to keep your personal assets as a separate legal entity from your personal corporation. The liability to have a number of shareholders, even those from corporations, give C Corps great growth potential. Two, remember, you will likely incur financial costs in the form of paying advisors, especially come tax time. Nonprofit corporation. A nonprofit corporation is similar to a traditional corporation in structure. There's generally a broad board of directors as well as donors or financial backers, but a nonprofit generates no profits, as the name implies. A nonprofit must also be created in support of a specific cause, generally one that's public, specifically for members of nonprofit or groups of people. Nonprofit corporations are tax exempt, pay no corporate taxes or federal taxes. They're also committed to receive funding from a wide variety of source grants, public donors, private donors, and corporations, further separating nonprofits from for profit corporations. Donations to nonprofits are typically tax deductible for donors as well. If you are passionate about helping others and your focus is maximize the good you do, not the profit you make, a nonprofit is the best way to see your mission through. Limited liability company, LLCs. A limited liability company, LLC, also known as limited liability corporation, is a business entity that prioritizes the separation of the people in the business and their personal liability, similar to other corporation types on this list, an LLC protects the members from being financially responsible for damages. More specifically, an LLC protects the personal assets of the owners in the event of a lawsuit or any kind of financial damage. Forming an LLC requires articles of corporation in which the structure of the business is laid out. Unlike a C-Corp, no board of directors is required for an LLC. In fact, an LLC can choose almost any structure desired, meaning it can imitate an equal partnership, have a board of directors, or fall wherever it's in between. LLCs offer additional perks, including simpler financial structures than corporation taxation at a personal level, not a corporation level and the ability to own multiple pieces of real estate under different LLCs to limit taxation. If you plan on keeping your business close to the best, 
and don't intend on going public, an LLC can be a great way to improve your personal appearance or professional appearance and gain certain legal and tax benefits. Sole proprietorships. A sole proprietorship is a one person show. In a sole proprietorship, the business and the person are the same, with no legal separations between the two. This means the person is personally and financially responsible for any debts or damages. While solo in name, sole proprietors are able to hire employees or contractors, but the work done by any employees hired through a sole proprietorship is still legally bound to the sole proprietorship. Again, this keeps the responsibility all on the founder of the sole proprietorship. Unlike a freelancer, a sole proprietor has a registered business name, can hire employees, purchase business insurance, and even obtain higher forms of business license. Sole proprietorships are easy to start, making them a great way to give your solo operation a more professional appearance. If you are currently freelancing or planning on starting a small operation that requires only your efforts, a sole proprietorship could be the right choice. General partnership. A general partnership is similar to an LLC in that the members can structure the business as they see fit. But in a general partnership, all profits, legal obligations, assets, and losses are shared. All members of a general partnership are responsible for any financial and legal damages with their personal assets at risk in the event of forfeiture. The primary perk of a general partnership is that it's easy to set up. There's far less paperwork involved than with setting up a corporation or LLC. And it's a great way to make your appearance even more professional. But keep in mind, all members of the partnership are equally responsible for damages incurred so it's a good idea to only go into a partnership with those you trust. The right type of corporation for you. Your company is exactly that, yours. Only you know where you want it to be, both in the future and in the far off. Think about your goals to decide which type of corporation or business entity goes right for your company. Your needs will likely change over time, so rest assured your choice of business entity isn't set in stone. If you realize you may have made the wrong choice, you can always begin the process of restructuring your company. Take your time, do your research, and you'll land the right business entity for your startup. From there, you can work on your small business continually, plan, and be prepared for anything life throws in your way, be it taxes, an unexpected financial crisis, or a new business partner. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please be sure to give a like, subscribe, and if you know someone that may also be interested, feel free to share, as this will help my algorithm. Thank you for watching, and until next time.